Today we're going to talk about nutrition bars and why you should avoid them. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with a quick public service announcement. It's about nutrition bars. That's what they call them, nutrition bars. I don't have any here to show you. I don't like them. I don't eat them. I don't recommend them. First of all, they're, they're not really much different than candy bars. They're just dense uh, amount of calories and um, there's really not much nutrition in them at all. It's not like uh, anybody around here these days is malnourished and especially if you're a carnivore uh, dieter, you get plenty of nutrition already from your red meat. You should never really be hungry enough to need one of these, uh, these disgusting um, robot-made uh, bars of whatever. They have flavor in them and they're, they have some, something to chew, but they're really not good. And a lot of times they put nuts and seeds and everything else in it. It's just a high concentration of carbs. Usually there's, you don't really see any of these bars that are low carb. About the only thing that I would recommend eating if you're on the run and there's no meat anywhere is maybe some beef jerky. There's really not enough fat in them and there's a lot of sodium and, and most or half the, the beef jerkies have monosodium glutamate in them. But the nutrition bars, I don't know why people eat them. They, there's nothing, they're not going to turn you into a world-class bodybuilder. It's just a lot of sugar that's going to uh, make you hungry in less than an hour anyway. So just hold off. And if you're carnivore, you're probably never hungry as it is. So avoid nutrition bars. It's a, it, they call them nutrition bars because they want you to think they're healthy and they're not. I don't care what they say on them, whether they're gluten-free or organic or sustainable. Just uh, avoid the nutrition bars and eat some meat. Subscribe, hit the bell, have a good day.